All right. And there that goes. That looks like a podcast audio. And that there looks like Facebook video. Come on. In Father Teresa's wine cellar, we believe all oppression is intersectional. And this means our analysis of current events frequently includes discussion of difficult and explicit content. Any combination of the following topics could be included in our show. Murder, rape, war, climate change, racism, sexism, violence, sexual violence, homophobic violence, heterocentrism, discrimination and abuse against individuals of nonconformist sexuality, domestic violence, child abuse, child rape, child neglect, elderly abuse, verbal abuse, police brutality, microaggressions, ableism, cyberbullying, genital mutilation, ideological extremism, and people just being total fucking assholes. All right. WineCellarMedia.com. PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. Patreon.com slash WineCellarMedia Fund. Patreon.com. Almost at the 50. uh, 48 folks uh, signed up to the Patreon.com. And um, Phoenix Kaliter has a two weeks notice in. And um, the boss... The, which is because she works at the office of a church, it's the pastor um, would like to, you know, maybe have a meeting, see if we can hash things out this Thursday. Someone gives you a two weeks notice Monday last week, which frankly should make this the last week, but she's being nice. So it looks to my eye, looks more like a three week notice, right? Cause you're giving it to a Monday and then the following two weeks are going to be your last week's. Nigga, that's three weeks. But um, this motherfucker don't want to talk till Thursday the next week. Nigga, nigga. I know you're not doing much uh, at about mm, 12 p.m. Sunday. Because, you know, white churches, they get out quick and fast. All right. When I went to New Covenant Pentecostal Tabernacle, nigga, you got out of church at like three, nigga. And went in at nine for Sunday school. Nine to three. It was a goddamn shift. All right. <laughs> Let me check my old uh, decibalities. All right. I feel good about it. Feel good about it. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> All right. So fucking um, him too. Uh, fucking up. Uh, you know, Phoenix Kaliter and I. We went to we went to bed to go to to go to sleepy rest without any adult beverages. So that meant like I think I. Slept for like two and a half hours at first, and then I woke up, and then she came in, and I can hear her on the Twitters, and then I'm like, I'm gonna look at the Twitter too, and uh, and I and I'm just like, what's she posts, and I just go and look at what she's posting, and she said something about, hey, people need to look at this him too hashtag. I go and look at it, and I'm like it's thoroughly amusing, you know. So what um. What what that was? Man, let's, uh, let me go ahead and get my my information up here. An individual. What's a uh, Blue Star Navy Mom Three? Uh, put a picture up of her son, and said, "Uh, this is my son." Capitalize the M Y. This is my son. He graduated number one in boot camp. He was awarded the USO award. Uh, he was number one in a in a school. Number one in a school. I. He is a gentleman who respects women. He won't go on solo dates due to the current climate of false sexual accusations by radical feminists with an axe to grind. I vote hashtag him too. And her other son, 
just <laughs> put up a picture of them together, you know, because evidence, and said, my brother is trending on Twitter because my mom's ridiculous tweet, I'm a mixture of laughing hard and feeling bad for him. And then um, a nigga named Emily, Tim, jumped in the joint, and she was like, uh, it's nothing against him. I'm sure she, he's everything your mom said, but I'm pretty sure he's comfortable dating. Your mom needs to turn off the hashtag Fox News. And he said, my mom, a little, you know, throw the ableism at him. My mom is crazy. She just loves attention. I guess she got it. And another motherfucker said, named Danson John Hansen. Oh, no, the reply. Oh, Danson John Hansen is the brother. And, um, this person said uh, their name on Twitter is we have no healer in chief. And they said, uh, so is he actually afraid to date or did your mom completely make that up? And dancing John Hansen said she made it up. Uh, she posted a few times on Facebook trying to get him a date. He doesn't need her help. She had good intentions, but I never expected this to go viral. And a nigga named Stephanie jumped in and said, uh, I think she may have deleted. And he said she claimed her account was hacked and she didn't tweet that. I don't believe I don't believe that for a second. She said she is calling the police. And your mom is a quintessential white woman. Jesus Christ. Morning wine cellar. All right. And uh, and other folks got involved in this whole thing i hope you're happy it's tuesday in the wine cellar all right <clears throat> why are you trying to give me a glass just give me that bottle i'll be turning those things down low this show is fucked up all right now uh other people got involved in this whole uh thing right I'm looking like uh, one of the first ones I see under the hymn too is a picture of the sun. Said, This is my son. It won't go on dates with girls because it's a giant mass of in of of in woo incandescent gas and therefore too hot to handle him too. Uh yeah, people just start getting their fucking clown on. Now this one's a little dark. Um this is uh this is someone's son. He raped a young woman in an alley behind a dumpster and recorded it on his phone. He served only three months in jail. Hashtag him too. <clears throat> and now some of these uh, celebrity references I don't get. One woman put, has a, a very, very young boy in a Beto t-shirt, probably at a political rally. I'm assuming that's Texas with this Beto, B-E-T-O individual. And... um. And uh, she put, this is my son. He won't go on dates because girls have cooties. Hashtag him too. And uh, <clears throat> and there's plenty of these. You can check it out. Um, I made one. Hey. I put it on the face booth first because uh, you can use more letters. And, um, and then I put it on the Twitter with the letters cut down a little bit, right? Uh, so the one I put up on the face booth has the full wording. And it's a picture of Vanilla Ice, an older picture, you know, more recognizable. <clears throat> and so he did age like a rich white man. So, like, he's still kind of recognizable. And um, I put, uh, this is my son. He stops, collaborates, and listens. He always wanted to know what it was like to have a Roni to play that funky music with. But these feminists took it to the extreme with this Me Too witch hunt. So now he won't go on dates solo. And if the issue was pressed, he just turns an ice, ice, cold shoulder, baby. Hashtag him too. You know, and then I put it on the Twitter with, um, I think I had to cut out the um, uh, feminists took it to the extreme. Yeah, like I just I cut that sentence out and then it was able to fit in the Twitter. Yeah, so, and it's like, and how did this all start? Because a right winger was full of shit and had to lie. Everything, like everything that is to the right, 
has to have a lie to it. The further left you go, the less lie you get, right? Like these, everything these people think and say is all bullshit, right? Christopher Columbus, brilliant navigator that discovered a new world. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and then what are they putting in those history books now? Um, Africans came over to America for internships. That shit's in fucking textbooks. You know, and who tried to tell you that shit? Small time podcast. I mean, cognitive dissonance is not small time anymore. But at that time, Tom and Cecil of the cognitive dissonance program, that was a small time. That was like a new er podcast. Like, I think it was only like a year old when they were covering that. Like, this is what they're trying to put in um, Texas school books. Like, pay attention to this shit. And the wine cellar were even smaller. You know, and we were like blog talk, radio, telephone, audio. Like, this is what they're trying to do. Pay attention to this shit. And uh, then when it happens, everybody's like, oh, what? What, 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 what? what happened? I was so busy watching MSNBC, you know, or listening to motherfuckers like Bob Seska or, uh, you know, Buck Dancing Elon or any of these Imani Gandhi niggas. And uh, somehow you just didn't know that. You were paying attention to fucking petty bourgeois niggas that don't give a fuck. All right. And uh that that just went right off of everything that right wingers have to say is a lie. Yeah, it, it, like um I'm telling you, go on the Facebook and follow this cat that I follow, a black man named Larry Barr, very Republican name spelled phonetically. Just go fucking follow him. He just says bullshit. You know what? We're in the morning wine cellar. We're having a good time, right? You're having a good time. I'm having a good time. Let's go ahead and in the Facebook search bar and just search this motherfucker's name. Come on. Okay, Larry Dunbar. Right? And his profile picture is um him with a uh, an American flag behind him. And he put a frame, like a, how you could have an optional Facebook, like, uh, auto frame and it's like people looking at him like he's a painting you know and he's a uh a buck dancing ass black man let's just look at some of his shit right um starting just from the top and take it down they have to be full of shit oh god especially black republicans jesus balls um 11 hours ago he posted leftists Women want every man neutered, while women who are on the right want to help meet, want, want a help meet and a family. This November, something has to give. Oh, as he says, um, I bet you there are a group of people that Democrats want to uh, want nowhere near the polls. Those from Venezuela. Okay. I wonder if he's drunk at this hour. No, 12 hours ago, that would be 3 p.m. Well, if he's in the same time zone as me. Uh, what he also says, um, the same fear that brought you to the polls in 2016 to avoid a Hillary Clinton presidency must be amplified three times over to avoid the Democrats taking over the legislative branch of government. Imagine Maxine Waters on the House Intelligence Committee or come or Camila Harris as chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. This is far more dangerous than any Clinton presidency. These people already said they want to take us back to the Obama era where nothing worked. They said we must adopt socialism to give everyone the same opportunity to be miserable. That's a fact, right? So Cam Camila Harris and Maxine Waters said verbatim or maybe loosely quoted that we must adopt socialism to give everyone the same opportunity and of course snarkily put in to be miserable he continues they want open borders okay where anyone could just walk across our borders and immediately be entitled to the same benefits as we americans you ever wonder why Social Security for seniors have not had a decent increase in nearly 40 years? It's because we pay illegals benefits who got hurt while working here illegally. 
and then go back to their home countries and wait for their American tax-funded monthly check to arrive. We are such big suckers when it comes to this illegal immigration, but this is what the Democrats want. Um, open the country up to all sorts of BS. He says these words on purpose. <laughs> Man. All right. Like, really? That's a thing that he claims is happening. Let's let's go over it again. He claims that folks from, let's keep it greasy. He's talking about folks from Mexico. He's claiming that folks from Mexico are coming here, getting jobs, getting hurt on those jobs, and then going back to Mexico and getting a check every month. And this is happening with so many of them. And these checks are so big that social security checks can't increase. Like this is just freestyling. Like, unless I like, if, if there is some sort of podcast or something he listens to, I want to know, I want to motherfucking know what the hell he's listening to. All right. 100%. All right. Now, uh, that, that that's the kind of shit like right wingers have to be full of shit. I think I see um, archive chat space not active. I mean, of course, it's uh, 3.38 a.m. Uh, Tuesday morning wine cellar, October 9th, 2018. Uh, PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. Patreon.com slash wine cellar media fund. Thanks to motherfuckers hitting that shit up. Uh, shit is coming on the way. Remember, Phoenix Kaleeder, two weeks notice, finally put in. We've been talking about that. Phoenix Kaleeder, full time. Come on. And we're going to give it a shot. You know, we're going to see if... um. If there can be, because we did the math, if there's a $300 increase, you know, in like, um, like 45 days to 60 days of Phoenix Kalita, um, leaving that job, then she won't have to get a, uh, another job, you know, and we can just, we can tough it out. All right. We can tough it the fuck out. Let's see here. <clears throat> so, um, stuff and things, shit that matters to me. You know, um, street art outside um, Durga Puha Marquee. It supports uh, sex workers' rights in Calcutta. Um, I assume that's pronounced Calcutta. K O L K A T A. Is that that place where um, that motherfucker, uh, a nun, some Catholic nigga, went out there fucking people up? Like people were sick and needed help, and she was just like, keep money that was meant for him and pray some shit like that some uh some british journalists covered that shit um so uh but th that's not what this story's about this is a uh, modern uh, so at the entrance of the uh, marquee in north calcutta's um woo, ahiratola uh the tastefully done graffiti and other installations convey the untold story of sex workers it is like the style is pretty fly the way they did this graph art, like a uh, ground graph art, it's, this shit is pretty fly. Um, it's a 300 foot long street art um, uh, dedicated to the rights of sex workers unveiled on Monday outside the Durga Puha Marquee. And, um, ooh, excuse me. Now, the street art vividly represents the journey of a sex worker, beginning with uh, three women peeping from behind the door to a distorted um, kum kum line um, vermilion on a woman's forehead to signify her tragic life. Um, the artists create graffiti dedicated to the rights of sex workers. Uh, quote, we are happy that, uh, that these people thought of us like Madurga, um, who uh, <clears throat> uh, we are also women and part of society. Due to this initiative, we have been able to mix with everyone, end quote. And that's a quote from a person named um, Kahol Boze, a member of the uh, Durba Ma, whoo, Mahila uh, Samanwe Committee. And uh, that is an exclusive uh, forum for sex workers. Its uh, members uh, present on the occasion, uh, present on the occasion, were visibly happy when the graffiti was unveiled, <clears throat> uh, setting the mood uh, for the 10-day uh, festival. 
The women expressed their joy and gratitude by gracefully dancing to the beats of a of dock drums. The uh, Puha Committee, who comes up with the theme of the um, what is man? These words are killing my ass. Uh, comes up with the theme of the um, Utsarito Alo, a streaming light. Uh, to showcase respect for a sec- the, showcase the respect that sex workers deserve, and to support their demand for working rights, uh, the committee working uh, president Utam uh, Utam Saha said, uh, "Quote: For ages, our orthodox society has neglected sex workers as human beings. We fail to realize that they are someone's mothers or sisters. They do not deserve torture or hatred." Now we could also recognize that they are someone, right? Like they can also be individuals worthy of humanity by virtue of being human. Hey, check it out. <clears throat> uh, continuing a uh, quote from a committee member, they said, um, they spend their lives in science, silence, and face humiliation and rejection. Uh, we are hence determined to support the journey of these sex workers with a pledge to ensure basic rights to them so that they can live with their heads held high, end quote. And then this one, Jesus Christ, a lot of adults need to get punched in the motherfucking face for this shit. Um, this was put up uh, by uh, Ruridith Marr on October 6, 2018. And um, school administrators couldn't decide whether a student should be sheltered with boys or girls, so they left her outside. A transgender student was separated from her peers during a mass shooter drill in a Virginia middle school, middle school as school administrators debated where to send her. A uh, lockdown drill at a Stafford County Middle School designed to teach the students how to respond in case of an attack required students to seek shelter in the nearest bathroom or locker room. However, the transgender student whose identity has been withheld was instead forced to sit in the gym while the other students sought shelter, while teachers discussed where she should go. Um, equality uh, and equality staffer said in a face booze post, which is a uh, hyperlinked here from winesellermedia.com. Um, after debating uh, wh- wh- uh, where would be the safest for the student uh, to shelter uh, during the drill, um, and it was designed to mimic the response to an active shooter, the teachers ultimately told her to sit in the locker room hallway away from the other students. Ah, uh, the continuing, and uh, this is a quote from the uh, uh, from Stafford. They said, uh, "Quote: The student was forced to watch the adults um, charged with her care debate the safest place for the other students to have her shelter. Uh, during this debate, she was instructed to sit on sit in the gym with a teacher until the drill was complete." away from her peers, and um, identified as different. After um, some additional debate, she was made to sit in the locker room hall um, by the door, away from her peers. Continuing. Equality staffer to um, slam the the school's response, uh, noting that they essentially treated the, the student as a danger to other students. Like, in this Virginia one can assume fairly right-wing, you know, Joe Manchin and whatnot. And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, so the whole thing, active shooter drill, you know, don't do anything about, uh, you know, gun legislation or anything like that. Just get the kids ready to run from bullets, run and hide from bullets, kids, because that shooter needs his rats to his guns. But transgender student, more dangerous than the bullets, put that one, that would make a good shield. Put that one in front of the bullets. You know, buy us some time. Huh. Mm. I just basically threw that water on my face instead of drinking it. 
for people uh, looking at the video and not the podcast audio. <clears throat> All right, continuing. Um, uh, during an event, uh, this is a quote from the Stafford, Equality Stafford. Uh, during an event that prepares children to survive an attack by active assailants, um, she was treated as if she was so much of a danger to peers that she was left exposed and vulnerable, end quote. The Stafford uh, County Middle School's uh, spokesperson, hey, that's really what they put, spokesperson. Um, their name is uh, Sherry Johnson. They issued a statement, which is also hyperlinked from winesolarmedia.com, uh, following outcry over the school's actions. The new superintendent has requested a review of all protocols and procedures to ensure that all treated children are treated with dignity and respect, said Johnson. We take such matters very seriously and they will be addressed. The welfare of all students is of the utmost importance for SCPS, uh, Stanford County Middle School. And the Equality Stafford is um, urging parents and students to attend the county's uh, school board meeting on October 9th to, quote, lend your voice to the growing cry, end quote. Um, <clears throat> oh, maybe, uh, oh, fuck, that is, uh, it is October 9th right now. Uh, shit, if you know somebody in uh, Virginia, anywhere near this, and maybe they have offspring there, get them to go, get them to go. If that's you, go, 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 get involved. Because I guarantee you, the transphobes are going to show up, you know. So uh, the the niggas that's down, the niggas is ready to put it down and represent. Get up out in that motherfucker. Um, <clears throat> and over here in the archive chat space, before we uh, wrap this thing all the way up, there's uh, Sam Sam. Why won't this thing let me see the whole gosh darn deal? That is what evil looks like. It will not let me see all the words that this cat is uh, typing here. But uh, Sam Sam said, uh, yes, Calcutta is um, is the less uh, ooh, angelicized version of what used to be called Calcutta um, by us Brit invaders and wasn't. Oh, so there was a, so there's another Calcutta that is C-A-L-C-U-T-T-A. And I'm looking at one that must be Kolkata. Oh, he said less anglicized. It's called Anglo's Angels. That's what I do. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and get the heck darn out of there. All right. Peace to uh, Rebecca F. and Sam Sam posted up in the joint. And uh, podcast audio will be up. And I'll download this video, put it up on the Facebooks, And then I'm going to go do a shift. I think we have a safety committee meeting this week. Because they canceled the one last week, so we might have one off week. Yeah, I'm on the safety committee because they said, you know, it's basically like do that extracurricular shit. And that's how, you know, it helps you get promotions and whatnot, raises and all that. Because we need more money dollars. All right. PayPal.me slash Phoenix and William. Patreon.com slash Wine Cellar Media Fund. Have a good one. Morning, Wine Cellar. I need a mouse pad. Jesus Christ, trying to slide this thing across this raggedy plastic.